Have you ever been accused of hating the West? I sure know I have. But the people who often claim that I hate the West are often those of an identitarian movement. I'm talking white nationalists. But the irony of this entire claim is that from what I can tell, white nationalists hate the West. They view the West as a superior culture that needs to be saved and so on. But let's analyze a few pillars of this culture. We'll talk science, art, and politics. In terms of science, white nationalists will take whatever suits them in their current narrative. Whether the science be cutting edge, outdated, or pseudoscience. Take for instance... Race and IQ. No differences in intelligence between individuals, so why not between groups as well? You know, it's That's not right. really it's quite consistent from a logical perspective. Yes. That's right. That's right. When it comes to discussing race, the white nationalist qualifies intelligence and correlates it with race. This requires two leaps of logic. One, the outdated IQ test is still at all relevant to how modern intelligence is qualified and measured. Two, that these have inherent things to do at all with race and not poverty or systemic conditions often caused by racism. Sex and gender politics are often another example of the white nationalist worldview in which the science tends to be outdated. White nationalists view sex as inherently dimorphic and is seen as the same as gender. Any information that deviates from this, even if it's updated science, is just Jewish degeneracy, or cultural Marxism, or globalists, or accusing these cultural Marxists, or in more recent times, postmodernists, as if postmodernism has anything to do with this somehow, of having an agenda to put into universities. All of these also mean the same thing. They're all targeted at meaning the Jews. But let's talk about art. When white nationalists talk art, they inherently mean art that fits my worldview. To them, art has changed, and it's caused by the aforementioned cultural Marxism. Art's changing from classic beauty is caused from the same roots of free thinking and Western values, and the idea of provoking thought, which is kind of the point of modern art. Their understanding of beauty and art is only surface deep. Their appreciation is only in the immortalization of figures, and not the actual Western values around art. For more on modern art, check out these videos. The discussion of meaning and provoking thought is a nice segue into discussing their value of political thought. White nationalists, most damning to their credit of all, absolutely hate Western politics, despite their mirage being centered all around it especially democracy. A big part of the Enlightenment was that society should evolve, and democracy is a key part in evolving a society to be fair to those who live in it, or in changing at all. White nationalists want an ever-preserved bubble of a society, stale and stagnant. White nationalists absolutely hate the West. Thanks for watching. Please check out my Patreon below and donate if you can. And thanks to my many patrons who are listening here.